Hello, this is uh, Silvia Pavone, Investments Editor of the Bank, uh, reporting from the second day of the Inter-American Development Bank meeting in Montevideo, Uruguay. I'm talking to Panama's Finance Minister, Frank de Lima. Uh, Minister, Panama has grown at uh, an exceptionally high rate last year, the highest uh, within the region, in fact, at 10.6%. Um, what are the projections for this year? Well, Panama, uh, in the last 10 years, has had an average economic growth rate of over 8%. And last year, like you mentioned, we grew at 10.6%, which was the highest rate in Latin America. And we expect a strong growth this year also at 7.5%. At I know there's a financial crisis or economic crisis in Europe. Um, the United States is not growing as rapidly as many wish it would. But we feel that the factors are there for Panama to have such a high growth due to in mostly internal factors, the high a capital, expand, capital investment program that the government is moving forward on, the Panama Canal expansion, uh, the arrival of foreign direct investment in our country. And something that people haven't really noticed is the, the start of a new mining project from the Canadian uh, mining company Inmet is starting uh, this year. And it's going to be a, a, invest, a project between five to six billion dollars in the next five to seven years. So as the Panama Canal expansion project is finishing, this one is starting up. So uh, that we gives us confidence that Panama's uh, projection for the midterm is going to be very positive. We expect economic growth above 5% for the next five years. So that's definitely a really good news. And one of the other reasons that Panama is uh, renowned internationally is for its uh, international financial sciences. And uh, we see by uh, even our rankings, the bankers' rankings of uh, banks in Central America, that uh, Panamian banks really continue to lead uh, that category. Um, although we have seen some movements from uh, international play players leaving that region, but uh, we're just saying earlier that this should not really affect Panama. Um, so. Um, what are your expectations for the financial center and its contribution to the uh, country's economy for this year and, and the few um, ahead? Obviously, if we didn't have a strong, solid financial center, we wouldn't have such high economic growth because to, to allow this growth, you need capital availability for, for the different economic sectors that are growing. Um, for example, loans to the private sector increased 17.3% last year. There's 68% liquidity in our banking center. It's one of the few banking sectors that didn't uh, suffer during the 2008 financial crisis. And even though some of the large uh, banks are leaving the region, they're still staying in, in, in Panama. I think that speaks well of the perspectives of Panama in the short, middle, and long term. And it speaks well also of the quality of our banking center and, and speaks greatly of our, of our supervisor, regulator, which is the bank superintendency. Uh, another interesting point in, uh, that uh, financial man uh, centers that are growing also need to tackle is the development of the capital markets. What, what are Panama's plans in this respect? In this administration, we've done great strides in developing the local capital markets. We've started the issuance of long-term notes, and for the first time in Panama, we placed a seven-year note and a 10-year note. And also, with some of the transactions we've done, like purchasing the concession of one of the toll roads, and this year we'll conclude the, the transaction of the second toll road. Part of the bonds that were issued to p purchase these concessions were issued locally. And we're looking in the future to um, what we call demo dem la democratización, democratize the, uh, the participation that the government owns in some of the mixed companies that are involved in energy generation or telecommunications. And copy what Colombia did so successfully with Ecopetrol and allow Panamanians to purchase stocks of these companies in the, in the local uh, stock market. Uh, do you expect, as you uh, develop the capital markets, that uh, many investors, international investors, are also going to uh, be interested in, in putting money in, in, in your? The ministry also created a, a, a market maker program that the head of uh, public credit, Dario Espinosa, can speak more about in, in a couple minutes. Great. Well, then we should uh, move on to, to Dario, who is also here. Dario Spinoza, the, the head of the public credit um, division within the Ministry of Finance. So, Dario, would you like to, to give us some explanation about what the minister has just uh, mentioned? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you, Minister. Uh, basically, as the Minister said, we, we've been putting a lot of efforts uh, in trying to develop or, or helping developing the, the local capital markets. Uh, we should, as the Minister said, we already have issued in the local market more than $1.5 billion in uh, local notes which is, you know, a high amount for Panama when, when, when past administration, they, I mean, they didn't even think about issuing in Panama. 
Also, we hired uh, a sub-custodian global services from Citibank in order to allow international investors to participate in the local in the local market, not only from government instruments, but as well as other every asset class trading in the local market. We also launched uh, our investor relations program last year, and that's a way of how we want to you know cut more client more more investors uh, and and um, and amplify our our investor uh, base basically. That's very well. Thank you both for your comments. Thank you, Thank you very much.